Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the convex mirror. Notice that it's bulging towards the observer. The observer will be in front of the mirror over in this location. Notice we start with placing the object at the distance from the mirror to the center of curvature. But notice the real focal point and the real center of curvature is behind the lens and that's why the focal length has a negative value. But we take that very same distance in front of the lens, place the object, or I should say mirror, and place the object there. Now let's find out where the image will appear. You draw the first ray from the top of the object to the mirror. At that point it will reflect out of the mirror but it will appear as if the ray came from the focal point behind the mirror. So draw a line from there to there and then continue on in this direction. The observer will see this ray coming from behind the mirror. The second ray is drawn from the object here towards the focal point. But before you get to the focal point, the mirror will intercept. So instead of continuing on to the focal point, it will reflect back in this direction, parallel to the optical axis, and for the observer it will appear as if this ray came from back here. Where those two lines meet, that's where the brain will form an image. So the image here is behind the mirror. It is upright, but it's virtual. Virtual because it is behind the mirror. Now where is that located? Let's use our equation to find it. S prime equals S. S is in this case 40 centimeters. F is minus 20 divided by 40 minus a minus 20. This is minus 800 divided by 60, which is equal to minus 13.3 centimeters. Minus means that it's behind the mirror. Therefore, it's a virtual image. It's at the distance of 13.3 centimeters away from the mirror. So S prime here equals a minus 13.3 centimeters. It does appear as if the image is smaller than the object. Let's find out how small. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is a minus 13, oh, not a minus, but a minus times a minus 13.3 divided by S, which is 40, which is equal to a positive one-third. That means that the size of the image is only one-third the size of the original object. Positive means that it's upright. The negative S prime distance means that it's behind the mirror, therefore a virtual image. So what happens now when we take the object and move it twice as far away? Instead of at a distance of 40 centimeters, now it's a distance of 80 centimeters away from the mirror. We do the same thing again. We draw the ray diagram and see where the image will appear. First of all, we draw the parallel ray to the mirror, just like before. This will always be exactly the same. It will reflect off the mirror as if it came from the focal point, and the ray will be reflecting in this direction. The second ray is drawn from the tip of the object to the focal point on the other side of the mirror. Get there. The mirror will intercept and the ray will then be reflected back parallel to the optical axis. But the observer here will see the ray coming in this direction, the ray in this direction, and it will appear as if both rays came from back here somewhere. Where they meet, that's where the brain will place an image. Notice that as the object goes farther and farther and farther away from the mirror, the image will form closer and closer and closer to the focal point. We can already see that in the limit, as the object goes to infinity, the image will form at the focal point. Now let's find the distance in this case. We can say that S prime equals SF over S minus F. S in this case is 80 centimeters, 80 times minus 20 divided by 80 minus a minus 20, which is equal to a minus 1600 divided by a positive 100, which is minus 16 centimeters. So the image moved from a distance of 13.3 centimeters away from the mirror. It's now a distance of 16 centimeters away from the mirror. Ultimately, as you can see, since the focal point is at 20 centimeters, as the object goes to infinity, you're getting closer, the image is closer and closer and closer to the focal point, closer to the 20 centimeters behind the mirror. For the size, Take the magnification equation, 
m equals minus s prime over s minus a minus 16 over s which is 80 which is equal to 16 over 80 which is if you divide both by 8 I get 2 over 10 or 1 fifth so you can see yep, 1 fifth so you can see that if you place the object at a distance of 4 times the distance from the mirror to the focal point in front of the lens that an image will appear four-fifths the distance between the mirror and the focal point. It'll have a magnification one-fifth the size of the original object, so it's really not a magnification, it's becoming smaller. Positive means that it's upright, and the negative image distance means that it's behind the mirror and therefore a virtual image. And that's what happens to the image as we place the object in front of the convex mirror. And you can see that as you go farther away from the mirror, the image gets closer to the focal point and becomes smaller. That's how we do that.